assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to database practice session in last lecture we have discussed about dml statements and pcl statements and in today's session we will perform different tasks related to them so let's open sqlite exe first i will open chinook database i will set header on and dot mode as column okay so the first task is insert a new row in artist table okay so we have to insert a new row in artist table first we will check the scheme of artist table artists okay so it has two columns artist id it is a primary key with auto increment and then we have name okay so when we will insert a new record in artist table we will use insert statement and we can only insert a value of name column because the artist id is auto increment which means that for every record it will auto increment that number so we don't need to actually insert this record so the insert statement will be insert into artists the table name now we have to write the column name which is name we have only one column and now the keyword values and in brackets we will give the value so i will add a new value for example nancy because the data type of name is voucher so we have to write it in quotes okay so i have inserted this row now to confirm it i will write the select query select artist id name from artists order by artist id descending and limit 1 because the value will be inserted at the last that's why i have written order by artist id descending so it means that the last record will be displayed and limit 1 because i just want to check if that record has been entered so you can see that nancy artist name has been inserted with artist id 276 which is an auto increment number so it means that we have successfully inserted that record in our table next we have insert three rows into artist table now uh, we have to insert three rows so we will write the query as insert into artists then again just name column because artist id is auto increment values now first value for example david now we have to write comma and second value sara and then comma and third value j okay now to check this we will again write the select statement now i will change the limit as 4 now you can see that these are the last records that we have entered recently okay next statement is insert a row in artist with default value okay so i have to enter a record in artist with default values if we have defined any default value for any column it will enter that value if we haven't defined any default value for a specific column it will enter null to insert a record in artist using default values the query will be insert into artists default values we will just write default values here okay now we will check the last record and you can see that the artist id has default value which is 280 and the name is null because there is no default value for name column okay so next we have update jane's last name to smith now we have to change the last name of jane to smith 
so we will use update statement update employees set now i will write the column name last name equals to smith now i have to give condition because i am updating the record of only one person where employee id is equals to 3 okay so we have three employee id of jane i have written employee id here because it is unique for every employee now we will check if the change has actually happened select first name last name employee id from employees where employee id is equals to 3 you can see that this employee has first name jane and we have updated her last name to smith and this is the employee id of this employee you can check the employee id with the select statement before applying this update statement next we have changed the address city and state of employee park margaret now we have to update values of three columns so the query will be update and then table name set city is equals to toronto then we have to change state state equals to cn and then postal code is equals to mst45 where we will write the employee id you can check the employee id of this employee with the select statement okay now to check if the changes have made we will write the select statement where employee id is equals to 4 and we have to display the information of city state and postal code because we have made changes in these columns you can see that the city has changed to toronto state c and postal code with this value for this employee park margaret next we have remove an artist with id 1 okay now we have to delete an artist with id 1 so the query will be delete from table name which is artists where artist id is equals to 1 because we have to delete only one record so we have given this condition and now we will confirm it with select statement select steric from artists order by artist id limit 3 so you can see that we have actually deleted the artist with artist id 1 okay next we have delete artist whose name contain the word santana okay we have to delete the artist whose name contain the word santana the actual name is not santana but only those artists whose name contain this word santana so we know that when we have to match the pattern we can use like operator so we will use it in delete statement delete from artists where name we will use the like operator percentage centana percentage so this actually means that we have to delete all those artists whose name contain this word centana it can be in the beginning in the middle or at the end doesn't matter okay so now we can just confirm it by select steric from artists where name like santana so you can see that we didn't get any row 
because those rows are deleted. Okay, next we have delete all the rows of artist table. Now we have to delete all the rows. We will simply write the delete statement as delete from artists. And now if you execute select Derek from artist without any conditions, Derek gives all the records. So you can see we didn't get any record in the artist table. Next we have apply TCL commands and verify them. Okay, so we have studied two TCL commands commit and roll back and we will use them. Let me just clear it. Now we will see that how these commands work. Okay, first I will write the statement begin transaction. Now just first find select first name from employees. Now I will find the first name of employee and then I will update it where employee id is equals to 5. Okay, so the first name of employee is Steve whose employee id is 5. Now I will update this record, update employees set first name equals to now I am changing it to David where employee ID is equals to 5 ok so I have updated this record now I will run that query and you can see that for this session it is changed to David now if I will write the commit statement this change will be permanent you can just close the SQLite and you can open it again now if you write the query as select first name from employees where employee id is equals to 5 because we have updated the information of this employee so you can see that this change is permanent okay i will again begin the transaction now i will find the name of employee with employee id 6 and his name is michael now i will update this record update employees set first name equals to Jim where employee ID is equals to 6 because okay, so there were spelling mistakes now we have updated this first name of employee with employee ID 6 and we can actually check this change so you can see that the first name is changed to Jim now if I execute the rollback statement and now if you run that query again you can see that that this change has been undone and we have the same name which was before making that change so in this way we can use commit command to make the changes permanent and rollback command if we want to undo those changes and go back to the state our database was before that change